We are officially past the half point in this challenge. Yesterday we started on a set and today we are gonna finish that set. So in yesterday's set, we managed to get the ground done. So that's like the parking spaces and the potholes, the ground itself, all that. Today, I wanna finish the facility and get the fence done all the way around the property. And if I don't get it done, I'll just blame someone in the comments. So I started with making a little base for the facility. I did end up using these little one by bricks with the studs on the side, and that's gonna help hold the structure in place. Like I said, you can use sticky tack for this too, but you know, doesn't work as well. And now we are ready for the walls. Now here I'm going for the same style that we used inside, and that's the same like colors and depth in the walls and all that, same thing. We've got the door here that Eric will break through when he comes out into the parking lot. Guys, I don't know if you know how crazy this is, but we're on the 16th day, that's over halfway and think about it we're already here at this scene so we can probably add more to the story at this point and that reminds me if you have any ideas for this story you should comment them down below because we can still change stuff obviously we can't change the whole script but we can change like certain scenes make them in different locations and stuff like that okay so now we're getting up to the second story and i'm just kind of putting whatever looks cool up here just some depth in the walls some dark and light colors up there i think it looks good i put a basic roof up here just to kind of save time and then finally i did put the fence all the way around the property as a finishing touch i put some cars there and i think eric might steal one not sure about that yet but there's the set guys and we have one more thing to do can anyone think of that what is that thing come on come on what do we got to do for the camera we gotta put a background. You know, sometimes I feel like I'm talking to myself. I usually use this blue background if I'm doing outside scenes, like if it's light out. So there we got our background in the shot. I'm thinking maybe add some mountains back here. Yeah, perfect. And let's add some trees too, some bigger ones and smaller ones. That'll create some distance. I think I've got the lighting pretty well adjusted and with all that, it looks pretty good. I think it's ready for the first shot. So for the first shot, I think we should have it start at the door. He breaks out and then the camera zooms out to see the whole set, the whole background, everything. Now, I know there are a few of you out there who have been wondering about camera movement, and that's what we're going to be getting into in the next video, so you guys come on back tomorrow, and we are going to be talking about just that. All right, guys, it was fun having you back. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good one. Keep on brick filming. Bye.